I'm sitting out in the garden right now and I decided to show you the finished journal at the beginning of this in case you're only interested in seeing the journal. This is just made from an old book that had the inside pulled out. The front is covered with a lot of masking tape that's actually covering up several layers of trial and error. I ended up putting one of my little paintings on the front of the watercolor roses. This book has a lot of distressing, but it has a lot of really beautiful rose images. Lots of pink, lots of pink. I really wanted that to be the vibe with this journal. I numbered the pages with a watercolor pencil, and there is some messy scribbling in here, but also a little bit of neat writing with just sayings and words and quotations. There are some images hiding behind vellum in this book. I love the way it turned out. I love that blue under there. It complements the pink really nicely. I ended up putting a stamp on this page. It's not a rose, but it feels really steampunk. I like the vibe of that with the roses. And I did use a pink butterfly to cover up a little yellow bird underneath. You'll see that later. The dried flower petal that I liked so much is hiding under the masking tape. Just lots of beautiful images, lots of distressing. This is from a calendar page. These papers, I used 11 pages of this paper that is a very natural feeling paper with a lot of fibers in it. You can see little plant pieces in this paper. Love the way this turned out. It's got some of the Asian paper underneath. That's an old postcard. It's not glued down. It had a little tear in the bottom and I just put that in. She's beautiful with her roses and fits right in. Love this page, one of my paintings at the top. And then these are some Tim Holtz letters from some scrapbook paper. Love the blue and the old map page and that sort of complements the book itself. Rosy hat rosy dress and that is that I love this wrapping paper but I really wanted to just have a feel of pink throughout this so I used the pink vellum to cover up most of that page including the blue butterfly just just so it peeks out a little bit but I feel like that really subdued the other colors and you focus more on the rose there and then of course there's the little pocket where I altered that a little bit to say a bit of birdsong and the hundred roses. Inspiration comes from so many places. Sometimes it's just a little card or one picture or maybe something you see in nature. Stay tuned if you want to see more about how I painted the roses and a little bit of the construction of the book. I thought I would turn the camera on for just a little bit and record because just because you can hear the neighbor children outside and that's really sweet <laughs> they're they're nice children and I'm sure they are ready to go back to school they're both really smart and they seem to enjoy school the little boy he's uh, I guess he's about four and he told me one day that he said my teacher had to redirect me today he said, but I'm okay with that because it really helped me out. It was just so cute. Anyway, I'm playing with these watercolors that Brandy so kindly gifted me with. These are some little sample cards and, well, they're big sample cards. They're, uh, there's quite a few colors here and it's allowing me to try things I probably would not have purchased. I've been playing with just making roses with real simple design. I know that this is supposed to be my, well, mostly faces, but drawing practice. I just grabbed the closest thing I could find though. These watercolors are just dreamy. It's fun to do things like this and it's not, this is so simple, like I'm just doing what feels normal or good or right to me. Let's see. Let's get some darker red. Go right there. So 
so much fun. I like that. Let's do a um, another rosebud. I think you all know that I appreciate all of the orders I've had lately and the the sales. I've really tried to um, to to get more organized so that I can better fill orders and and be faster that said it's it's been really busy my days it seems like I would have so much more time and I find myself um, it seems like the days just fly it really does it's it's a bit crazy I don't get done what I want to get done most days and I have to just let it go at the end of the day. So this, try this. You should try this, try this at home. And I've just been playing with different, um, like different shapes to see what, what I think ends up really looking like rose petals. And there's a tiny little bug crawling around on the page. I like that. Well, I think they're pretty. I need for this one to dry. That one's pretty wet, so I'm not going to turn the page. And I don't have a dryer out here. I found this really pretty. That's from the Mandevilla. And it dried up. It was on the ground. Love that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the color. That's just... Amazing, amazing color. I'll have to do something with that. All right, so what do I want to do? I'm going to let that dry because I like that. And I guess we can just play with something else. This paper is pretty. It's a, um, I don't remember where I got this. It's definitely a natural paper with the little fibers in it. And I think I'm going to cut off. do that. Hmm, let me grab some. That would be interesting. Let me see if I have another cover. That one's better. So, what if I did this?
that's enough pages and it's okay if some of them are a little uh, a little off that one's a little off that's all right that's all right What does that say? Something rose. Hmm. Well, oh well. And let's see what I have. That paper is kind of delicate, but I'm just going to make some. I'm going to like mess this up a little bit. I don't think I have any roses in here. Roses here, so we could maybe it needs some rust stain. Look at the way that ink is turning kind of yellow, it matches that really. Got a little of that color down here. I am going to finish up this video and go inside. I love the way these roses turned out. I think they're really pretty. And I got started on this little book and I couldn't stop. I think I just needed to make something. So it's, <laughs> this is kind of a messy, grungy mess. Gail is the one who told me about these die cuts at the Dollar Tree. If you can find them, get them. They're absolutely beautiful. They have just a lot of little butterflies in one pack, and they're a dollar. Look how beautiful those are. I might be putting some of these in here. This is just a book cover that I grabbed, and uh, really, this... This journal is quite the quite the grungy project. It is called The Hundred Roses, and I just went through my pink ephemera that has a lot of roses in it. I love the way vellum crinkles up when it gets wet. I numbered the pages. Let me go back and show you that. It's messy. I just took a watercolor pencil. Love this old card. That's Jesse Wilcox Smith as far as who illustrated that. And some stamping. I cut roses out of wrapping paper. And I wrote a few things in here. That says Rosy Gentleman. This is the other part of that book page hiding under the vellum. You can see her carrying a tray and I wrote, be a rose and bring us coffee, because it talks about her bringing coffee to the gentleman. And there is a grunged up flower petal on a paper clip, a rose by any other name. There's more vellum, more masking tape. The pages are numbered. This is a beautiful envelope. So I just left that flap where you could lift it up. They're just little quirky things all through here. A lot of alcohol ink. There's a brad. I like the blue there. It's just kind of holding that scrap piece of paper in place, and that's really old fabric, kind of delicate. And there's the other part of that envelope. This, you know, if I see something in here that I'm not crazy about, like the writing there, sometimes things look really cool if you just cover them up with masking tape. You can still see it, but it tones it down a lot. And, you know, I may come back and cover up the yellow. I'm not sure. I like the little bird, but anyway, just showing you, sometimes you just have to make something and you can't stop until you're done. So just a lot of grunge. I did end up finding the Shakespeare playing card with the rose on it. And this is cut out from an envelope. A bird in the rose bush is worth a song in the heart. 
that's just something I wrote. There's some fabric. This is from calendar page and you can just see scribbling, numbers. This is a beautiful old postcard. It's not glued down. It's just sitting here under the lace and there's wallpaper under there. I like this old book page. It looks like she has a white rose in her hair. That's from an old piece of music. And these are some Tim Holtz letters cut out of some scrapbook paper. I painted a little rose on that page. Some of these pages are still damp. You can see the numbering and again, just some scribbling. A lot of stamping, a lot of alcohol ink. I wrote rosy hat, rosy dress, rosy bee, and this, I'll probably put something in here. So this, this was the little library card pocket from the hundred dresses. And I just crossed out the author name and put a bit of bird song and wrote the hundred roses. And there's the back with some alcohol ink. So this was just a project. I just had to just make something. I think sometimes you have to do that. Who knows what I'll do with this? I think it might not be quite done, although it's pretty cool the way it is. You just keep adding. All right, I'm going to stop and go inside. I will see you really soon. Bye for now.